Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you the patterning that I've made so far. I made the torso piece out of tree flex, which is like Warblot or Wonderflex, and then I covered it in plastic wrap, and then I taped all over it, and then I sketched out the pattern, which maybe I will have a link of in the description if you want to download it and print it at home. If I don't have this piece, I will at least have the accessories for the shoes and the arms. You can download that in the description. I also have the skirt piece all patterned now. As you can see, it has a lot of fancy detailing. Here you can see the belt, which I will have a link to in the description for all of these patterns to make your life just a little bit easier. Patterning is always my least favorite part, so if I can help someone else who is like me and hates patterning, now you can download that in the description. After I'm done cutting out all the pattern pieces, I trace them and cut them onto craft foam. For the chest piece, I take the form I made out of thermal plastic and cover it in a black t-shirt and then start gluing the foam pattern pieces over it. The reason I put the t-shirt on first is this makes it easier for the foam to be glued onto the thermal plastic, but it also gives me fabric that is securely attached to the plastic so I can sew straps and zippers onto the back if needed. You can see that there are a lot of little layers and details, so I follow reference carefully as I glue the pieces down. As I upload this video, I don't currently have pattern pieces for the chest plate just because there are so many details and this was sized very custom to my body, unlike the accessory pieces. If I do end up posting the pattern as is, I will update the description. All the accessories are way more simple and I just fold and shape them and then glue them down until they look right. Having the pattern for this will definitely help make this process so much quicker. Here you can see me working on the little piece of armor that goes at the bottom of the boots. This piece of armor goes over your foot. This piece is the rest of the boot armor. And then I make these two little wing shapes that go on the outside of the boot armor. This is the arm armor. This goes over the glove on the hands. These pieces are super simple, but these are the shoulder pieces. And then I am working on the belt. And here you can see all the finished pieces glued together and ready to paint. Once my dog moves, I will show you how to do the skirt. skirt I just pinned fabric over the foam piece. A trick I wanted to try out and see if it would work was tracing the details of the paper pattern with chalk. Then patting the paper onto the fabric and letting the chalk transfer so you oh, can see the design. Works. I was pretty glad it worked. To define the lines a little more I went over them with some chalk one more time. Then I sewed down all the designs in the fabric. I painted the fabric in the right shade that I wanted. The reason I'm painting fabric is because the paint is a lot less likely to chip than if I were to paint directly onto foam. Then I added all the little details to it. After I'm done detailing the skirt, I also detail the belt. Pretty self-explanatory, just use the desired colors and then outline the details with black paint to really make them pop. Also, I highlight the edges of the metal with a silver paint pen. Now I paint all the accessories, which was pretty simple because most of them were just black and silver. Whenever I paint something to look like metal, I always start with a black base and then I brush the silver color over it. I also like to use black and dark gray paint in the crevices to make it look more like metal and have more dimension. Now 
Now it's time to tackle painting this absolute monster. Painting this took forever simply because there's so many little details and crevices, so I really try to look at reference images and copy the color scheme as close as possible. And it really started to look so cool. I don't care what anyone says about this movie, this costume is freaking awesome and the fact that Natalie Portman wore it makes it even better. Hey guys, I just wanted to update you on where I am right now. Uh, please forgive me, I am running on three hours of sleep. This project has been a lot more than I expected it to be. I've been trying to finish it before I travel for the next two weeks and I wanted to shoot it with David Love and uh, yeah, it's just a lot more detailed than I expected. But so far I have all the pieces built and painted. Next, I have to figure out the attachments. So I just wanted to show you what I have so far. Um, here is the bane of my existence. I uh, highly do not recommend making this yourself. But if you want to, I may or may not have a link in the description to download the pattern for this. I will definitely have patterns for the rest of the costume, like the skirt and all the accessories. And then I have the skirt. This was just made by covering some panels of foam and fabric and then painting it and covering it in Mod Podge to make it look like vinyl. I basically did the same thing for all the other pieces, like the boot armor and the arm armor. And then next, I am going to add elastic straps and buckles to them just so it has some adjustability and it's easy to put on and remove. Uh, hopefully that will work out and go really fast because I am very, very tired. So now let me show you how to add straps to make everything wearable. To attach straps, I cut some strips of elastic and sew some buckles onto them. Then I just took a lot of hot glue and secured them on the back. You can add strips of fabric over the straps on the back of the armor to hold them on even more securely. And I don't have any footage of this, but I used a cheap tablecloth from the thrift shop for the cape. And that's pretty much it for the costume. Do I think it was a great movie? No, but it was fun and I'm a big Marvel fan and I enjoy the Thor movies and Natalie Portman is one of my favorite actresses. So I was very excited to make this costume and felt like a goofy badass in it. Don't let other people's opinions stop you from cosplaying characters and enjoying yourself. It's really not that serious. I have a makeup tutorial for this look on my channel, so feel free to check that out as well and tons of other costume and armor tutorials. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye! <laughs> Uh, where was I saying? <laughs> oh my god, it's been a long night. Take two, I'm still alive. Um, barely. So I will t uh, attach you to show you straps. Um, my brain's not functioning anymore. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It falls.